Well, hello everybody. It is February 13th, 2023 in Big Bear, California, and this is the calm before the storm, the winter storm. Can't believe we have a winter storm coming, but it is what it is. What a shocker, guys. What a shocker. Hope you guys are doing great. If you like what I do, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And uh, let's get on with the video. So yeah, guys, winter storm warning. They didn't elaborate a whole bunch on it, but the winter storm warning is the harshest of all the winter weather advisories that we can get. Obviously a blizzard warning's up there too, but um, we haven't had any of those this season. But uh, yeah, winter storm warning, so good news, good news. It says about at the three to 4,000 feet elevation, they'll be receiving a dusting of sorts. And then above that, who knows, um, who knows. I'm not expecting too much, but it is a good thing. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy yourselves and get your buns up here and have some fun because during the week, guys, it's not not crowded, like not at all, really. Even though the snow play place looks like it's fairly crowded, but that, I've seen that parking lot completely full with people sledding. But yeah, that looks like so much fun. But yeah, everybody, how you guys doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, just. We are preparing for this winter storm. Once again, I don't think it's gonna be much, but it, it is what it is. And so we're doing the calm before the storm, driving through the other side of our valley, Big Bear City area, which is the less touristy side, um, just to uh, show you guys what it looks like on this side of town. Then we're gonna kind of drive up into Sugarloaf a little bit and then come back down around Highway 38 and we'll take North Shore back. Yeah, this is this is what it looks like out here. There's hardly any snow from this last storm that we got that stopped at about 7:30 this morning. Uh, there's nothing left from it. Everything from that storm is long gone. It has melted away. So, looking forward to this. It's also going to be extremely cold these next couple days. Tomorrow we're not supposed to get above freezing. And the low temperature tomorrow night is supposed to be about eight or nine degrees. And it's gonna be pretty much a rinse, wash, and repeat for for uh, Wednesday as well. So I hope all of you are getting prepared. The ones, the people who live up here get getting ready for this. I'm, I'm hoping it's kind of one of those out of nowhere, more snow than we anticipate. I have a feeling it could be, especially because as I said, they, they issued a winter storm warning, which is, which is crazy. I'm wondering if the winter storm warning has anything to do with it snowing at a much lower altitude though. Um, I still don't think so, but it's possible. It's possible. This is the type of cold storm where we would get snow on the desert floor on this other side of the mountain range where Apple Valley and the CERN Valley are. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. I am super excited. And when you guys are up here shopping, Big Bear Smoke and Vape, that guy who owns it, Sahil, I'm telling you, he is such a good dude. He is such a great human being. And he treated me so well when I first moved up here. He made me feel like I was at home. And this place was, was, it was scary because it's got that small town vibe and everyone sticks together. And so um, he made me feel good. And I always refer people to his place. He doesn't just have stuff for like smoking and, and this and that. There's some some little Big Bear trinkets and stuff like that too. And uh, just to support a really good local business owner, we're gonna do another video at his store eventually because he is such a good dude. <laughs> and if you say that I referred you, he said he would give you guys discounts. So that's super cool. The, the guy is super fair, but just a super good dude. So anyway, this is where we're at on the map. You know, it's kind of hard to see with that glare. Let me back out a little bit here. Can I back out here? Oh, it's giving me giving me problems here. She's giving me problems. Looks like the screen froze. Yeah, the screen did freeze. That's interesting. I have to reset that bad boy. Alright. 
so anyway, as you can see, this side of town, there's just there's just nothing. I mean, where there's a lot of shade up here on that hill, yeah, you'll you'll you'll, you'll, you'll get some snow, but there's there's just nothing up here. And we're gonna turn right here on Maple Lane to head up into Sugarloaf. What I think we're gonna do is drive all the way up to the top, where you meet the wilderness, and this is this is Bear Central where we're going right now. If you guys want to see big bears. Well, this is where this is where you want to go if you guys want to gamble like that and uh, you know have that type of experience up here when you rent your Airbnb try to make sure that it's uh, like on the like eight and nine hundred block in Sugarloaf it, it, it doesn't matter what street just the eight or nine hundred blocks it's exciting winter storm warning. There's some clouds coming in over the mountain right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I hope all you are doing great. Thank you again for all the beautiful comments. Always feel free to leave me comments. I enjoy the comments. I enjoy you guys a lot. You guys are pretty awesome people. My life has definitely gotten a lot better simply because of you guys being in my life. So thank you. Thank you for the love and support always. Okay, so we're just, we're just gonna take Maple up to the very top, okay guys? We'll just stay right on Maple. And then as we climb in elevation, obviously we will come into a little more snow. up here I think it froze again unbelievable all right that was nice of him to let us go I'm not used to that Yeah, the screen froze again. Unbelievable. I think it's because maybe the phone's plugged in. Let me see. Let me reset it again and see if that'll fix the problem. So up here a little bit, you can see we start climbing. And this is Sugarloaf. This is deep in the hill of Sugarloaf. So from about this stop sign on, Bear Central. Any of these streets over here to the right or to the left over here, any of these streets heading up this direction, I mean, usually these trash cans are inside of some like really tough wooden boxes so the bears don't get get to the trash. But uh, yeah, you'll see up here. Like this wooden thing right here, this caged in trash can right there. People don't take ri take risks up here often. I, I mean, it looks like there's a bunch of trash cans out, out here today, which is kind of crazy, but this is that wilderness area, you guys. This whole part of the top of Sugarloaf. I wonder if that sign says anything about bears. Let's see here. I, I see a bear sign right there. Yeah, you gotta be really careful up here. It's no joke. There have been times living up here where when I used to do the whole Facebook thing years ago, um, I'd see people posting every day and, and sometimes the same people of the, of the same bear or a different bear and the, and, and the bear's cubs and stuff like that uh, right up here. So yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy, guys. It really is nutty up here. But for those of you extra adventurous people, 
Uh, if you want a chance to see some bears, come stay in the top of Sugarloaf. And once again, we have a winter storm warning it going on here, guys. I can't believe it. That was the last thing I expected, especially when yesterday it said less than an inch of snow. So definitely so unexpected. Smells so good out here though. Roll, roll down my window and just smells so good out here. It's that just serenity of the mountain air. So what we just did when we went up to the very top there, most of the streets have that loop at the top of Sugarloaf to go down to the next street. So it's not like when you're at the very top, you have to uh, make a U-turn and come back down. You can just go to the end and go around to the next street. So that's pretty cool. I We are on Cedar Lane. And yeah, my phone's having issues, or my, my computer here is having issues. That was weird, my phone just shut off by itself. Oh, you know why? It's because I turned off, oh, that's why. Interesting. I reset my, my stereo system again, and that's what ended up happening. And once again, it happened again. See if this is gonna work now. This is a cool little park up here. This is the Sugarloaf Park. And they have a skate park over here, baseball field where a lot of people play uh, softball up here. I wanted to join a softball team, but I just I, I just don't have time. Over here on the right hand side, we've got some really gargantuan homes over here. Matter of fact, we'll turn down one of the streets real quickly. So you guys can see. This street is called Heritage Trail. It's, the, it's right before you get to Highway 38, which is where we're about to, to go. So we'll just we'll just go down this first street. I mean, look at look at some of these homes, just humongous with huge RV garages and stuff like that. Just amazing. This whole street has humongous houses. They all do in here. Big beautiful properties. Huge amount of land for these properties. turn around here and head back down to 38. Nice little cul-de-sac. Look at this house in the corner right here. Look at that. Wow. All right, guys. All right, we just did that turn around. And now we're headed down to Highway 38. Highway 38 is another way in and out of this region. If you take Highway 38 down the mountain, it takes you into Mentone. All right, so we're back here at Baldwin, but we're heading down here. I'm trying to figure out 
figure out, am I going to go through Baldwin or am I just going to, you know what, hang, hang tight a second. Okay. I don't think we're going to take the drive around through Baldwin, but we are going to take North Shore. It's such a beautiful day today. Temperature's 45 degrees out. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Once again, we're preparing for this storm. As I said, though, I'm not expecting much. They say winter storm warning, but I'm, I'm expecting a couple inches at best. I hope I'm wrong. I really want a lot of you to be able to come up here and enjoy some, some good snow before the season's over. But you guys, when I did the calm before the storm the other day, when I was walking on Bear Mountain on one of the slopes, I'm telling you guys, the snow was in great condition. I mean, they do such a good job. They do such a good job. maintaining those hills so those of you are concerned about the little bit of snow you see here don't be because they do a great great job all right this is maple we turned up maple to go into sugarloaf up that direction we are just going to take this until we get to a street called Paradise. And Paradise takes you from the South Shore to the North Shore. And then we're going to take Paradise all the way, or uh, North Shore all the way to Stanfield Cutoff. I think that's my buddy behind us. My buddy who's gonna put on tire chains and let me record him doing it for all you guys. He's such a good dude. Maybe that's not him. Let's see. Yeah, that was him. Okay, so we're on Paradise. Once again, as you guys can see, there's just hardly any snow anywhere. It's been a really miserable season for snow, you guys. I think this has been the worst season in terms of uh, snowfall accumulation since I've lived here. We've had a lot of precipitation though, so that's good. We haven't had hardly any snowfall this season. Okay, this is Highway 18 on the back side. You turn right here, but we are gonna turn left. So as I said, this tour was basically gonna show you guys the other side of town that we don't do as often anymore. I mean, we do some of it almost every storm, but not as much as we used to. 
if we get bigger snowfall, of course, I'll be out here doing a lot more videos, especially to show you guys the contrast <laughs> between the snowfall amounts at the Big Bear Dam as opposed to um, over here. I like it much better when we get like a foot and a half of snow where I live, so you can really see the difference. It's a, it's a huge difference. Over here, like right here, you'll still have a decent amount of snow, but if you make a U-turn and keep on going about two and a half miles, yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing. Stanfield Cutoff, for those of you who don't know, is where the lake ends at one end of it. drive at Stater Brothers because I got to go to Stater Brothers. Yeah, there's Bear Mountain ahead of us right there. Boulevard folks here we are and this is gonna be basically it for the calm before the storm video once again I just want you guys to see what's going on on the, on the other side of town to see how little bit of how little the snow is over there the whole town doesn't have much snow but our ski resorts are in great shape you guys come up have a great time um, thanks again for everything I appreciate the love and support if you guys really do enjoy what I do please hit the like and subscribe button it will help me out a bunch Thank you again. You guys take care. And it's February 13th, 2023.
Get ready for the winter storm warning.